Welcome back. We've got another Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We've got a nice sweet and short one today and we're going to dive straight into it. Let's go. So I'm so excited because I'm going to show you how to do slice this time around here on Cricut Design Space and we're working out of our super popular Cricut Design Space tutorial style book. We're on page 41 and we've got a very easy tutorial today looking at two hearts. So when would you like to when do you need to slice and why would you like to slice is the question of the day. So we're talking about slice and to me the easiest way to remember slice is thinking about slicing a loaf of bread. So when I have a loaf of bread it's one piece and when I grab my knife and I slice a piece off I basically now have two pieces or however many slices you've decided to make. So you took one thing and you created something new by cutting down on that shape, right? I can also take my knife and cut the inside of the, the, the bread out. So let's say my child doesn't want to have um, any crust. I can cut the outside of the bread off. Or let's say I want to chuck an egg inside my crust of my bread. I can cut the inside of the bread out and leave the outside there. So slicing is essentially cutting things in different ways, just like you could with a loaf of bread. So let's grab two shapes. Now, one of the easiest ways of using slice is to create a frame of some sort. So let's say I wanted to make a frame in a heart shape so that I can put a photo in there for Father's Day, right? Just a very sweet tutorial. What I can do is to grab two hearts. Now I'm gonna change the color only because it makes it easier to see what's going on. That's the only reason I'm doing this. So there I've got my two levels, right? I've got layer one, which is my light blue heart, my dark blue heart sitting on top because I want to create a frame, which means I want to cut the blue, dark blue heart out of the light blue heart. So I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to click on slice down here and I'm going to end up with new pieces. So now I can click on this dark blue heart and pull it to the side. So I still have the dark blue that I started off with and I can grab a new one or the outside and take that to the side. So now I have a new piece over here, which most of the time you don't need, but sometimes it's handy to have. And I can remove that as well. And I can remove this. So now I can get my Cricut machine to cut out this shape out of cardstock and I can pop a photo behind it. And I've got a really cute, super sweet thing that I can pass on for cards or birthdays or whatever it is that I would like to do. So you do the same thing with uh, square frames if you want to. Um, the thing that we need to remember though is that you can only do two layers at once. So if I try to do three layers because I wanted to get fancy. So let's say I wanted to create a frame inside of a frame, right? I want to do that and then I want to create another one because I would like to have a frame inside of my frame so I'm going to do that change that color so we can see it and I'm going to do another one because I want to do a frame inside of a frame and now you're going to run into problems okay now I know the colors are disgusting but I'm just trying to make the colors stand out so I'm going to grab all of my layers. I've got one, two, three, four here, and you will see that my slice is not visible and it confuses people and they don't understand why. And the reason why is because you can only do two at a time. So I can do my two back ones. I can grab my pink and my purple, highlight both of those, and now I can slice, right? So I can remove my pieces here. And now I've got my frame. And now I can do the other two and I can slice those two and now I will have, whoops, I deleted the wrong one. Well, this undo is not working very well today. That's annoying. Oh, there we go. So I can delete that one and I can now delete that one. And now I have a frame inside of a frame. So I could do something pretty like that, but you have to do it step by step in many instances, unless you can weld things together. Now, something else that's really, really fun to do with slice is to actually make shapes out of letters. So I have this super cute camp mug that I did. 
And people keep asking me, how do you make the shapes out of the letters? So let me show you. You need to first of all, grab a nice, big, thick font. I don't know if that one's going to work. That, I can't read that. Let me see this one. So if I grab a nice thick font, right, I can actually cut shapes out of the letters. So you can grab fun shapes like a star and pop it on there. And I can highlight both, click on slice and delete the stars that I don't want. That one and that one. And now I have a super sweet little shape cut out of my letter. And you can make it like really fun by doing all sorts of different shapes out of letters. So that's a really another fun way that you can use slice. To wrap it up, you can slice both text and images. Remember that you can only slice, slice two layers at a time. And remember that you can't undo slicing except when you use the undo button to go back. Slicing to me, the easiest way to remember it is to think about a loaf of bread and slicing away a slice that I can take off to a different area and eat up and gobble up. So you can delete new little shapes, make new shapes, make borders on all sorts of fun things. So I hope that was a really easy basic to understand tutorial for you. And we're going to hop straight into the next tutorial. This was on page 41 of the Cricut Design Space book, if you're following along with me. And on page 42, we look at contouring. So join me soon for that one. Until then, bye for now.